Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another Inform player review and we have second Inform Connor Plianka. He was going for 140,000 coins last night. Initially, I thought it would be around about 600k. No, nope. without a doubt, I picked him up and I decided to review him. So if you do enjoy it, please do drop a like. And if you are needing ultimate team coins, Christmas sale, 15% off, cheap and reliable. Check him out. FIFAultimateteamcoins.com is the place to get yourself some cheap coins. Or if you're wanting game codes, you can head over to G2A and purchase yourself games, game codes, all that good stuff. And yeah, get yourself some Christmas deals. But we're ready to jump into the review. Second in form, Connor Plianka. Let's do it. So I did play him in a 4-3-3 flat formation. And I don't really tend to use it too much. But it was actually performing really, really well. And this 84 rated second in form, Connor Plianka card looks ridiculously good. 94 pace, 82 shot, 85 passing, 87 dribbling, 36 defense, and 74 physical. I played six games, scoring 11 goals and getting one assist. Match rating wise were up and down, and that is because I was introducing a few season games to my gameplay. So I was playing a mixture between single matches and seasons just to get a sort of a variety of opponents to make sure the review is uh, adequate for you guys. Because a few people have been complaining, saying, Why are you playing single matches? Well, I, I don't know like I just play whatever really to see what they're like but in game stats wise great ball control really nice dribbling but look at this 78 finishing I don't know where they've got that from because yeah he finishes a lot seeing as I've got 11 goals in six games positioning that's one thing I've noticed about the card which is a little bit um, I don't think it ruins it, but definitely it's something that we can touch on when we get into the in-game clips. And yeah, pace-wise, he's lightning fast. He's got four-star skills, four-star weak foot. And yeah, overall, he looks like a very, very good card to try out. So yeah, we're ready to go into the clips. Let's see what he's like on the pitch. Let's do it. So like I mentioned about his poor positioning, I tend to notice it a little bit more when I come up against better opponents, just because I am relying on my players to get into the correct positions to attack. And that is, yeah, that is where I know notice it when I'm defending in my own area and I'm wanting to push on he seems to be hugging my left back I don't know whether or not that's like user error where I'm putting my players out of position or it's just the formation that I'm using just keep an eye on that because at times you are wanting him to be there and he isn't and that is a downfall with his card but once you do slow down your play and everyone sort of gets back into the correct uh, position he's yeah he's there available I mean you want to pass it to him you want to go on a skill run and that is what he's good at like the first in form and his non inform I didn't really feel there was much pace difference but with this second in form I think they've just increased it slightly and he does feel a little bit quicker like with the triple flick of the stick whereas before maybe a few people would catch you up now he just goes he's jet quick and his dribbling feels a lot snappier he's very very good on the ball and he is without a doubt the cheap Ronaldo with his 78 finishing in game I don't know where they've got that from because you can score long shots you can shoot it across goal you can even finesse it with this guy he is just a very very good player for a fraction of Ronaldo's price. Passing as well, I would say, yeah, he's a good link-up player. I didn't really cross too much with him because I don't tend to cross on this game because you never know where it's going to go and it's just annoying. I'd just rather cut back and just enjoy myself. But the, the goals that he was actually scoring, though, like sliding finishes, like a few A's rebounds that he... I think it's actually because of him, like his high ball control. He can just latch onto the ball very, very quickly. And yeah, like, overall, I really, really enjoyed it. Definitely is much better than his uh, first in form and for 140,000 coins you can't go wrong but another negative that I have found with Conor Plianka and this goes across all of his cards and it's his stamina uh, it may be me just running about with him too much but I feel that like halfway through the game he's he's pretty much dead so if you are going to use him make sure you get that impact going like get him on the ball make sure he scores and yeah have some fun with him like he's so sharp to turn he's just a very very fun player to use so overall I'm going to give Conor Plianka a 9.5 out of 10 can't wait until he gets a team of the season is he worth the coins without a doubt and i would recommend you guys go and purchase him like look at he's just weaving in and out, in and out of players it makes it a lot easier for you to attack because your opponent's going to commit all those players to defend against him you're going to frustrate your opponent and yeah you're going to have a good time so if you have enjoyed my review and want to see others from this week's team of the week drop a like let me know in the comment section and i'll see you on the next video team out Peace.